today's episode of uh, Join News' Living Standard series, we gauge how second-hand clothes dealers are coping with the depreciation of the currency. This is Kantamantu, the hub of second-hand clothing in the country. In this market, world-renowned designers are well represented here. Gucci, Prada, Versace, name it. The only issue here is that the clothes are second-hand, sometimes store rejects. People who cannot afford high-end clothing in boutiques and big shops come here for the latest thrift clothes. Well, not according to the traders here. They also sell to high-end clients who are usually embarrassed to come here physically, so they make selections via phone transactions. This is the place where lawyers, if they go school, they come here. Mokola lawyers, lecturers, they come here. Students, they go to the Gokki and you estimate and they host them for a year. Even you say, we even pack goods, they go back to Sierra Leone. This is where we take it out. If you do not have the budget for an expensive wedding dress, you can get them here, even used underwears. You have a brown for there, you have a scarf for there, you have a wedding there, and then you have a wedding there, you have a wedding there, and 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 you have a wedding there. For people who do not have money to buy bales of clothing, they select clothes and hawk them by the roadside. The hassle is real, especially for sellers and buyers who are reeling under difficulties in the business front due to the impact of the COVID pandemic. Things aren't going well at all. We are in difficult times. These days, we don't even get stabbed. Antoinette scouts for used clothing to sell to her customers outside Kantamantu. Since dawn, it's been challenging getting goods at a reasonable price. A bale of clothes has shot up because of the depreciation of the city. <laughs> My cash is even finished. Right now, I need about 1,000 CDs to inject into my business. Those days, I could save and feed my children. But now, it has gotten so bad that I cannot even save. After 20 years of doing business, she said this year has been very challenging. Life is hard for her. Antoinette is a single mother of two. She spends 100 CDs daily on her family. But lately, she finds it difficult to make ends meet. I could spend between 50 and 100 CDs a day, but now I'm not even able to make profit. Everything is expensive. Times are really hard. Things have gotten so bad, even water to drink is expensive. When you buy light, it doesn't even keep long. Those days, I used to get Kayayo to carry my goods. Becoming extra aggressive in getting customers is the order of the day, else no meal on the table for their families. When you have 50 CDs, don't buy jeans. Chop indomie with them. Just you buy bola. They'll fake you. 100 CDs for organic jeans. Even those who buy bales of clothing have had to rethink strategies for doing business because prices have unduly shot up due to the dip in the value of the city. Give you that 1986. Oh. 
Oh. And my money is, is 50. Is 50 pieces? So my money 4, is 50. 000. My money is 50. Oh, no, no. Last. You say it was last year price. Oh. 7997 would take. 7999 oh. would take. It's 80 cents last. They do not go Let high. me see this one. Let me see this one. Uh, this one too. Last one million. But do you have deep blue? I have blue. And black? I have black. I have everything. I can't do it. I'm a businessman. The old guy, I'm here to sell jeans. Yes, but the money you are, are, are mentioning is too high. See, if you're taking a couple of the sell jeans, I get jeans. First, it was uh, 4,000. Right now it's 4,400, sorry. So right now, first it was 4,000, now it's 4,400. And 200 Ghana has been added to the bill. 200 Ghana, it's 100 pieces. It's like 100 pieces. For these people, further depreciation of the CD will sound like a death knell to their businesses.